Hey guys, Reverend of Seven here. Uh, this weekend I thought I'd do a uh, a different kind of video. It's not that different, but it is going to be Hot Wheels Memorabilia Episode 2, which I haven't made one of those in almost a year now. But usually I have I buy cars in lots, which which if you don't know what that term is, it's a group of cars all together, not really organized by a certain type or um, series. Usually when you buy like when you like don't going through a box of Hot Wheels at like a garage sale or a um, or like a flea market, that's a lot of cars if you were to buy it. But uh, I'll have older cars in the lots, but I won't call those videos Hot Wheels memorabilia because it's not all older stuff. But this video it is older stuff only. So this is gonna be Hot Wheels memorabilia episode two, and I'm gonna start it off by showing you guys this cool Hot Wheels NASCAR Kyle Petty Hot Wheels edition uh, stock car. And uh, this is pretty cool. I never actually collected these, but I do have a ton of them just because I've collected them over time from other people buying them for me or uh, stumbling upon them in my the lots of cars I buy. And uh, this is pretty cool. It was only two bucks, and it's actually 21 years old making it. Uh, just in really great condition. It's a surprise I got it for only two bucks. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool Pontiac. I think it's a Pontiac Bonneville. I'm not sure what that car is. It's either Bonneville or Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Um, Plastic wheels. I have one similar to this with orange wheels, but it was probably my favorite NASCAR when I'd uh, play with those and they kind of destroyed it. So it's got half the paint on the body and I just rammed it into the other cars because back then I was really into demolition derbies and I thought these resembled demo derby cars. So I just treated them as that and I smashed them into each other. But that's besides the point. I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but the card art, no, not the card, the the card of the car is shaped like a, is shaped like a one. And you got this little, the stock car on the card is actually uh, sticking out, which is pretty cool. Hot Wheels Pro Racing, 1997 edition. Another cool thing, about, I'm leaving this box, leaving this in the box, by the way. But uh, you can take this to a race that Kyle Petty's at, get his signature, his final standing, and the date. And it shows the entire 1997 NASCAR race, NASCAR series race schedule on the back. That's pretty cool. I mean, you don't see that kind of stuff anymore. At least I'm not aware that you do. I know on the back of Hot Wheels cars you have some cool stuff. For instance, uh, on this Jeep I opened, I think, last weekend. You do get the series name and all about the Jeep, which is pretty cool. But this is weird. It's like the entire race schedule and a way to get it signed. So to make it an even more of a collector item. I'm not sure any NASCAR fans that watch this. Did he ever run this paint scheme? I don't think he ever did. If he did, that'd be really sick. But uh, yeah, not opening this, never collected these, but I thought this was cool for two bucks. And uh, now, to the main thing of this video, picked up this awesome 2000 5-pack from the year 2000. Super Launcher 5-pack for, I'm guessing, the Super Launcher set, because I think back then, and they still do this, um, the 5-pack would correlate to a track set. So I'm guessing this Super Launcher was a track set. It includes, to start, sorry about the glare, and the, the fish tank noise. I'm running out of water in some of my fish tanks. I need to do a water change, and you can just constantly hear that in the background of our videos, but that's not going to be like that in the future. But uh, back to the five pack. You got this super cool split in image two vortex in the blue and purple and black. Uh, another awesome silhouette with these wheels you never see anymore. I'm not sure what they're called, but yeah. Uh, red, yellow, and black with the yellow um, tinted windows. Pretty cool looking car. Two classics from the games we play. I thought that was pretty sick. Uh, catapult from Hot Wheels Stunt Truck Driver in green with a grid paint scheme with some yellow flames. Awesome looking car. Uh, I think this is a Toyota Celica. Let me see. Does it say it on it? I don't know. I'm gu okay, I'm guessing. This is a Toyota Celica GT. Not positive, but it says Slingshot Racing. That might be the freaking name of the car if this is a fantasy model. I don't know. Uh, Gin Shocks is a sponsor. I'm not sure if that's real. Little black Hot Wheels logo, blue uh, spoiler and splitter on the front. Really cool detail to this car. And I think this is called something shaker or something racer. This car, salt flat racer or something like that. I don't know, I have a couple of them. This was probably my favorite looking one with these gold wheels and the yellow, red, orange, and black paint scheme. Reminds me kind of a Halloween car. But uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. Six bucks, so it's a dollar more than five packs are these days, and it's all old cars in, honestly, mint condition. One thing that's cool about older five packs is this little rivet in between each car, 
and the cardboard sticks out a little bit above the cars to give it more of a uh, sunken in, nicer quality look. Now it's just a regular um, just piece of plastic over all the cars, but think about it, it's 18 years later, and Hot Wheels are the same price, so I think they're doing a good job, I'm not going to complain. And in the back you got some more track sets, the Wreck and Roll, the, uh, I think it's just an advertisement for track systems in general, and the Cosmic Blast, so I bet these guys, these had their own correlating five packs, but yep, welcome to episode two, not welcome to, thank you for watching episode two of Hot Wheels Memorabilia, and uh, yeah. Thanks for 611 subscribers. That was fast. And 110,000 views. That's awesome too. Bye.